Hello everyone. We have often observed people looking for an ideal retirement planning strategy. For this, they normally tend to reside to fixed income investment options such as a bank fixed deposit or government savings schemes or some bonds or something like that. This surely ensures guaranteed risk-free incomes but neither leads to growth of the capital invested nor ensures tax efficiency in most cases today ICA Rajit Kothari will discuss a retirement planning strategy which ensures regular cash flows tax efficiency and growth of the capital investment in a judicious manner let us understand the entire strategy step by step in a detailed manner which we have practically executed for several of our clients step number 1 determining the corpus size the first step is to determine the size of the corpus this depends on the monthly cash flow requirement that the person requires considering the kind of lifestyle that he or she is aspiring post retirement also factoring inflation let us take an example in which a person requires a monthly cash flow of 50000 of rupees which amounts to 6 lakhs of rupees annually considering a withdrawal rate of 8% per annum which is amongst the highest bank fixed deposit rates offered today the corpus size to ensure that could be 75 lakhs of rupees hence 75 lakhs of rupees at 8% withdrawal would yield 6 lakhs rupees annually step number 2 creation of the corpus the next step is to create this corpus which can be in the form of a equity mutual fund portfolio which invests into equity shares of promising indian companies this should be backed by very good quality research and should be well diversified across asset management companies as well as fund categories such as large cap mid cap small cap multi cap to ensure that the portfolio is well diversified and is built depending upon the financial profile and the risk appetite of the investor step number 3 executing systematic withdrawal plan just as we have systematic investment plan into mutual fund there is a concept of systematic withdrawal plan in which the investor can withdraw the amounts depending upon his requirement this can be executed after one year of holding the investment into equity mutual funds so that there is no exit load that is applicable and the gains qualify to be long term capital gains this swp can be either monthly quarterly or semi annually depending upon the requirements of the investor hence in our example the swp would be rupees 6 lakhs per annum let us now understand the advantages of adapting this retirement planning strategy advantage number 1 growth of the capital invested the equity mutual funds have historically delivered a return which is at least 12 to 15% in a time period of 5 years plus hence considering the withdrawal of 8% we can fairly estimate that the growth of capital could be greater or much greater than the rate of withdrawal this would not happen in case of a fixed deposit investment however this growth of equity mutual funds may not happen over a linear or a straight forward basis but we can fairly assume it to grow at this rate over a period of 5 years and beyond advantage number 2 minimal taxation the tax liability that arises through this swps can be minimal or even zero in many cases let me help you understand this through the example in the given example with a retirement corpus of 75 lakhs of rupees and the monthly cash flow requirement of 50000 rupees which amounts to rupees 6 lakhs per annum we can observe the number of units sold during various months of the year the corresponding gains as a result of these sales of units are also illustrated which amounts to rupees 92517 for the year we have assumed appreciation of 12% per annum on these investments since the total gains is less than rupees 1 lakhs there is no incidence of capital gains tax this is because there is an exemption on the long term capital gains 
in mutual funds when the holding period exceeds one year. Therefore, there is no incidence of tax in this financial year. During the further financial years, even when the amount of total gain exceeds rupees 1 lakh, the total incidence of tax will be minuscule because there is an annual exemption available up to rupees 1 lakh on the long term capital gains. Therefore, to conclude, the amount of tax through the systematic withdrawal plan route is quite minimal. Advantage number three flexibility of cash flows. This SWPs which are executed can be altered by giving an intimation to the asset management companies before a month, unlike to a fixed income investment in which the cash flows in form of interest is generally fixed and inflexible. SWPs can help us in meeting our increased cash flow requirements if need be or reducing them so that the investor can focus on the growth of the portfolio on a consistent basis. To structure a sound retirement planning strategy, contact us at the earliest. Follow us on YouTube and other social media platforms to be updated with the world of finance.